Cherries are big business in San Joaquin County, a county that is home to a multi-billion dollar agriculture industry. Probably down to two, three weeks now. But the California Farm Bureau Federation says there are not enough workers. We've been seeing uh, a growing trend uh, from year to year to year. Uh, it's just getting more and more difficult to get workers uh, to get workers to work in agricultural operations. San Joaquin County Farm Bureau President Bruce Blodgett says there are a number of factors to blame. We do not have a legal mechanism to allow people to come into this country to work. We've been pushing for a guest worker program for years. We're continuing to push for it. It'll be one of the things we're going to be working on next week in Washington, D.C. is a guest worker program. And with cherry season just weeks away here in San Joaquin County, growers are already preparing. They're going to need workers here soon. The season looks like we're going to have uh, very good crop. Jim Ferrari with Ferrari Brothers grows walnuts and cherries. The good thing about cherries is it's the, it's the first crop. And this year, there's a, uh, there's, it's quite a big crop, and the workers can make good money. I mean, they, there's uh, at least easily twice the minimum, the minimum wage they can make. Ferrari says he has to rely on labor contractors. We need a tremendous amount of labor in harvest, but we need hardly any labor the rest of the year. Some growers are using automated machines to fill the gap. Murano Produce uses some automated machines for sorting fruit. We took a look inside its facilities in February, but some growers say for cherries, they pick by hand.